Hi, and welcome to this topic of OCR A-level chemistry. This topic is qualitative analysis. Qualitative analysis is the use of chemical tests to determine information about the chemical that you're studying. It's quite a short one. We need to talk about five different anions, three of which we've done already, and then one cation. What's difficult about this topic is not the actual chemical tests, but knowing which ones to use and not getting confused between them. So the first one is a test for a carbonate ion. Carbonate ions react with H plus ions to make carbon dioxide. And that carbon dioxide is given off as a gas. And so when you put acid into a carbonate, it fizzes. The next test is for the sulfate ion. And sulfate ions make a white precipitate when you add barium two plus ions in solution. Now be careful with this one because carbonates also make a white precipitate if you add barium two plus ions. But sulfate ions don't fizz. So you can determine the difference between these two. The last three anion tests I did in the last video, and they are chloride, bromide, and iodide. They make different colored precipitates on the addition of aqueous silver one plus ions. All of these aqueous halides react with silver one plus ions in solution to make silver halide precipitate. Silver chloride is white, silver bromide is cream, and silver iodide is yellow. If you can't tell the difference between the cream and the yellow, or between the white and the cream, you can test using different concentrations of ammonia. Silver chloride will dissolve in aqueous ammonia. Silver bromide won't dissolve in aqueous ammonia, but it will dissolve in concentrated ammonia. Silver iodide doesn't dissolve in any concentration of ammonia. So you can use that as a backup for this test if you can't tell the difference between, say, cream and yellow. And there's one cation test in this part of the specification, and that's the ammonium ion test. Ammonium reacts with warm sodium hydroxide to make ammonia. And ammonia has a very distinctive pungent smell and it'll also turn damp litmus paper blue. And those are all the qualitative tests you need to know at this point. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.